All right, welcome to the next video in our chessboard application. I'm going to show you how to create a new project using WinForms and then import the classes from our previous uh, board and cell class ideas. So let's uh, start up Visual Studio and make a new project. And so my new project I'm going to name as Chessboard GUI App. And I'm going to name mine as a two after it since I've already got one on my computer. I'm going to select from here the WinForms app. So we've got ourselves a standard Windows form in front of us. Now I'd like to import the class for the chessboard uh, classes, the board and cell. So let's go into our finder and do some of that work. So I'm bringing up my folders and all of the solutions that I've created in the past. So I'm looking for the uh, chessboard um, app here. Let's see, chessboard console app. Open this folder, and you can see that there's something called the chessboard model, and yours probably doesn't have the two after it. I want to borrow this. I'm going to copy the chessboard model here, and let's uh, go back up one folder, and I am looking for my new chess, uh, chessboard GUI app, and let's paste our project folder in there. So you should have something like this, where you have the, uh, the GUI, and now next to it you have the model. Let's switch back into our um, application here, and now we're going to add a new project. So let's click on Solution, go to Add an Existing Project. Now let's go back into uh, all of our projects that we've got here. I'm finding the one that is my current, which is GUI, and choose Model, and click on the project. So if I did it right, I should have a GUI chessboard and then I should have chessboard model as two projects. Before I forget, I'm going to add a reference. So let's click on the first project here, choose add a reference, and let's go ahead and find the solution for the model and put a check mark. All right, so those two are now properly connected together. So now when I start to build things on my form, I can make the reference to the classes board and cell. So in the next video, we're going to start putting some items on the form.